Hey guys, welcome back to the Unbreakable Self training session. I am Dr. Dave. Today is Tuesday, that means it's Training Tuesday. And the thing that I wanna go over with you today is exactly how to take care of your low back. If you start to experience back spasms, these are the things that I would do in your shoes. Now, here's a little caveat to that. I actually experienced some back pain yesterday. I kinda of had a little tweaky tweak. Uh, I was playing around with my kids and then I got on the rower machine afterwards and I pulled a little bit too hard and I kind of felt a little bit of a back spasm. And I use this exact same strategy right after that happened for me to get out of pain so then I could just go back to doing what I'm doing. Now, so many Americans are, are dealing with back pain. In fact, it's estimated that 90% of Americans are gonna have debilitating low back pain sometime in their life. And I wanna rid that and we can definitely get rid of the back pain if we just take care of ourselves. And that's actually why I'm doing a lot of this stuff is to show you how to show up in the world as your best self, do your best work, ultimately live your best life. So today we're talking about back pain and that affects you. We wanna get out of back pain. So this is how I would do it. Uh, you notice I'm, I'm holding a lacrosse ball Super simple tool. It's like three bucks at a sporting goods store. So go to Dick's or Sports Authority or Academy, uh, depending on what state you're in, uh, and get a lacrosse ball. So this is an, a super simple tool that you can use to start to mobilize tissue. So let, let's say, for instance, I want to work on my pec muscle. I can move tissue around. It's sort of like a $3 massage therapist. Very, very effective tool. What we're going to do with this first is I'm going to place it into my low back. Now there's two spots that I'm gonna have you focus on. One is gonna be that spot just to the outside. So if you can imagine my spine right here, I got my, what's called my uh, spinal erectors right next to that. And then to the outside of that is gonna be where, I, where I'm gonna actually lay on it, which is called the QL quadratus lumborum for those anatomy freaks out there. So you're gonna lay in your QL. And when you lay on it, we're just gonna hold tension. So let's, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. So I'm gonna lay down on the ground here and uh, I'm gonna place the ball into my back. So I'm gonna pop my hip up slightly. I'm gonna lay down on this thing. And all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna hang out here for about 30 seconds. So by hanging out here, what I'm doing is that muscle that was super tight, super tense, is now dissipating. It's just releasing, it's allowing itself to just say, ah, okay, I feel comfortable here, I'm, I'm a little bit more relaxed, you know, like this is good, I can, I can hang here, and it's just gonna, it's just gonna, we're just gonna hang out here for about 20 or 30 seconds. Again, by doing this, you're allowing the muscles to just release and, and get back into that natural state that they need to be in. So typically when muscles are guarding, they're super spastic, and it's actually that is the, the area that you feel pain, because there's some kind of instability around it, so you always gotta go in, we'll kinda of talk about that later, but you always gotta go in there and restabilize everything afterwards. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move my, my knee through range of motion, and by moving my knee, what I'm doing is I'm actually stretching that tissue out. And so what I don't wanna do is like, actually, I don't wanna like roll around on it, I actually just wanna pin that tissue down and then just go through range of motion a couple times, okay? So I'm literally just moving my hip moving my knee back and forth, giving my knee a hug. I'm gonna do that 10 times while I have that ball pinned in there. Now, if you're doing this at home and you feel, okay, well, I have a, a sore spot you know, in that area and I also have one a little bit higher, well then just get up and move the ball so it's a little bit higher up on you and then you can go through range of motion again that way. Now the second spot that I was mentioning, I'm gonna actually lay down more face up on the ball and I'm actually gonna roll my hips backwards so my, my body weight is coming down on the lacrosse ball. So I'm literally sitting on the lacrosse ball right now. And so like my entire lumbar spine is, is relaxed on it. Again, it's, if my spine is here, I'm just to the outside of my spine. I'm on that what's called the spinal erector muscles. You can't really see the, where the ball is, uh, but you can, you can just go right to the, the muscle belly to the outside of your spine. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna give your knee a hug same thing, you're gonna bring your knee up to your chest. Now, if you have a lot of soreness, a lot of tenderness, and some spasm, just be easy with yourself. You know, don't, don't pull your, your knee all the way up to your chest. And so that's why I'm not going all the way up to my chest right now, because I, I do have a little bit of pain. I tweaked it yesterday, you know. After I, I tell everybody, don't do these things, of course I did it. I rotated and bent over and picked up my kid and, 
And so bending, lifting, and twisting is not a good position for your spine to be in. So, uh, so then we got to do some work, right? But this is how we stay unbreakable. So those are the two uh, mobility exercises that I'm going to have you guys do. Uh, there's going to be a third exercise that I'm going to have you do. is actually just something super simple, uh, which is all you're going to do is just cat-cow. So from here, I'm just going to look up, and I'm going to flex down, breathing out. I'm going to full inhale here, and then full exhale, just stretching that tissue out. That's really all I'm doing in this position. I just want to move through range of motion. Breathing in, breathing out. A couple more here. Breathing in and breathing out. And by doing that, again, I'm elongating my spine, moving my, my spinal cord, all that movement getting in there, which is good. And then I'm going to come over to the wall. I'm going to show you on the rack here exactly what it's going to look like. Now, imagine like this is a wall. I'm going to be pressing up against the wall, pushing my hips away as far as I can. So I'm imagining like, like I, um, I'm being pulled, my, my tailbone is being pulled down and away, and my arms are pushing up against the wall. I'm using, a, um, obviously, the rack here, but you're going to use a wall at home. You're going to feel a stretch in your hamstring, pushing your shoulder blades up, and you're just going to push away, 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 pushing your hips back as far as you can, holding, breathing. And then two more breaths here. So you would breathe in, breathe out, and last one, breathing in, and breathing out. And then what I like to do, I like to bend my knees and then bring my hips forward. Now, why I do that is what's going to happen is by being in that elongated position, you typically get a little bit of uh, a, lo a loss of blood pressure, essentially. So what's going to happen is that you might get a little bit lightheaded in that position. So if you stand up really quick, you might, we don't want you to pass out. I'll put it that way. So, uh, so you're going to do those four exercises. So if you ever have a muscle tweak in your low back, whether on the left side or the right side, you're going to focus on that one side. You're more than welcome to do it on both sides. Now, this also goes along with what I'm saying in the fix training, which is the functional integrated exercise training, the body fix program that I have. You can click on the link below and check that one out if you are interested in that. Uh, you can add this stuff into that, uh, but in either case, if you have back pain, if you have low back pain especially, this is the way to go. So do those four exercises, do the lacrosse ball work, mobilize the tissue, mobilize the spine, open everything up, and then restabilize by just elongating your spine, turning everything on. You're actually stretching and stabilizing all at the same time to put your spine back in order. All right, guys, thank you for watching today. Uh, again, today is Tuesday. It's Training Tuesday. If you found this information helpful, please share it. Please subscribe to the channel so you can get that great information on how to show up in the world as your best self, do your best work, and ultimately live your best life. I'll see you tomorrow.